Welcome back guys to a new video. In today's video we are giving the car a service and before we move on we need guys to show you a little update on our garage and what's happened. So Dan, do you wanna you know show them the way? <laughs> this way first and then we just do a little slow motion Christmas face. It's like Bro <laughs> Oh, shit. No, we're gonna get robbed. <laughs> no one's gonna rob us. So there we go. We've moved. Lots of stuff. Bench was here, as you can probably remember in the videos, and now we've moved it here. We made it slightly shorter so it fits here. And we come around here. And then in here, this is where all our tools live. Somewhere in here. And there. This is all out of the way. Now it's gone dark. You can't see because it's gone all dark. Yeah, Too dark in there. Hey, that's why. What do you mean a crap here? You do it then. Yeah, bro, look here. Yeah, no. All right, what give do you mean look? No, no, give it here. <laughs> all right, give it. <laughs> all right, hope you can still record it. All right, yeah. All right. My guy does not know how to use this. Look how bright it is now in here, innit? Look. All right. what? Yeah, what? look. So these are where he keeps his tools or whatever, and look how bright it is. Oh, okay, well done, you. Yeah. Actually, yeah, well done. Maybe you should stick to your car stuff, and oh, I should yeah, stick maybe. to this. You should stick with the cameras, yeah? <laughs> So guys, uh, we got the car in, as you can see, a lot further now, it's much more better to work on. But, because Abby wanted to fit a front lip, he didn't quite think about his uh, ramps. Did you, Abby? No. Nope. They don't fit because of the front lip. I mean, this side is perfect, it's just that side. Yeah. No, it's gonna just... No, yeah, even here. Break your whatever you just fixed, yes, but that side is... <sighs> No, it's not car. Well, how come that one is? That's what I'm saying. Hmm. Interesting. But no, because when we test fitted it, we had to use some wood, didn't we, to drive yeah. it back off. I think we have to do that again. Alright guys, so we took the under tray off and it requires you to take two T20s off and five uh, Philip heads off and then it comes off. Um, you can keep them on the side. Now, my sump plug is a plastic one, which is basically like a flat head, flat head thing. Uh, yes, please. Nah, no, not that big, jeez. <laughs> Something like So why? You said a flat head? Yeah, not big. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Yes, that is perfect. Oh, I was gonna say, I was hoping you, you know, you would say, oh no, that's too small. No, no. Oh, I mean. <laughs> right, guys, so here's the sun plug, which is that plastic thing there. So I'm gonna put that flathead in there. Twist it. Gosh, yeah. And literally, I'm thinking about that too. Huh? Huh? What did you say? Nothing. 12 seconds later. Yes, yes. Nice. See? Smart, smart. Wait, oh, smart. smart for my. Oh. Is that it? Oh, yep. She's turning. Wait, oh, wait. Hang on, sorry. You need the spanner or a socket just to turn that little tiny bit. Yeah, bro. You couldn't just. Put more force in? No, yeah. I couldn't. Right. So I'm just gonna drop that sun plug in here because I've got a spare one in there. So that oil is now dripping. Oh, spare, really? oh, why did you drop it in there? I didn't. Cool it if you want it. Oh, okay. no, not really. Mm, it smells nice. Oh, now it's dropped in there. Well, good job. We've got another one, isn't it? Yep. Really one. So Dan has removed the filler cap, so more can draw, you know, drain off. Uh, we're gonna remove the oil filter now, and more oil should come out hopefully. Yes. Well, that wasn't supposed to come out like that, but it did. I don't think it matters. No. It just comes out afterwards. 
it. Where's my different Euro car parts bag that I had? This guy just loves cleaning his place. Dude. Huh? It's in the, you put in the crate down there. In there, in there where am I supposed to put it? There's no harm in keeping a nice clean garage. No, there absolutely isn't. I'm just checking my filter, by the way, to see if there's any shit. Bro, I just got a load of... Anyways, nice junk. I probably don't do that. It's like your car's drinking. Like... <laughs> yeah, man. Sorry. It's all right. What's next? Next is to get the oil filter ready and my new sump plug ready. Five pounds just for a piece of plastic, you know? For that? Five pounds. Wow. Even if you go Euro car parts or Audi dealership themselves. Can you not reuse the old one or do you have to use? Uh, um, I don't yeah. know if the guy previously, as in I took it to Audi alive or oh. somewhere else, Audi specialist, okay. as you call them. Um, I'm not sure if he replaced it because if you check out my this, there's like some oil stains or what kind of stains they are. Don't know where they're coming from. But um, I just want to replace it just because I can. Plastic. Mm -hmm. so get my new one out. And that was very straightforward. Nice. How small that is. Yeah, man. Wait, is that the same size? Yeah, one is just white and one is black. Yeah, I, I figured that though, but um You reckon it's the same thing or same thing? You didn't get that, did you? What? What did you say today again? <laughs> you, you didn't get what I said today. No. Okay, some of the guys might but Well what did you say? One's white. Oh one's black. You said is does that is that the same size? <laughs> yeah, one's bigger and fatter. Wow, pennies dropped. <laughs> oh man, that's... People will be happy that we have that stuff over there on that wall. What's that? I know, right? Yeah. By people, How many? you mean more person? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's been a few people. Yeah. I mean, it's good to have. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, obviously. All the oh, times. Bro, I don't think they gave me these new ones. They only gave me the. Oh, you went short changed, did you? You went cheap. I didn't go cheap, though. Is there anything they gave? I am not know. Yeah. That's all right. Don't worry about it. Yeah? Well, you took it out now, isn't it? What, you want to put the old filter back in? No. Well, then. So, we just... Yeah. Okay, carry on, then. Are you sure they didn't go to you? The one in the bag or anything, no? Nothing, bro. It's just this. All of mm. this. Shame. Shame on these guys. I know it's upside down, but you can guys can read it. Oh, yeah, true. Shame on those guys, indeed. I did not break it. <laughs> the judgment right now. I'm not judging. No, no there's no me. judging going here. It's good that you learn to do things yourself. Yeah. You know? Right, she is on. Now get some lube from inside there. Apparently that's a good practice. I don't know. Some people say you don't need to, and some people do. It's kind of like half and half. So what is it? Do we do it or not? Well, that's just it. Yeah. So some you're mechanics. The new generation. I say new generation, but you get what I'm trying to say. Like, some some garages say, oh, you don't need to do it. Don't really? do it. Some people do say yeah. you need to do it. Yeah. I think it just helps to when it goes what on, seals. it seals it. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, it's not like a dry rubber, is it? No. Nah. You don't want a dry rubber. <laughs> I mean, it's, uh, it's not good to have a dry rubber hitting something. Nope, it is not. So it's got to be done up 25.5 yeah. newton meters, eh? Yeah. 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 Y
Oh damn, he's actually said it on there. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even know that. There's me trying to uh, edit um later on for you trying to put it on there. Wow. Um. Okay. Okay. We can talk that down in a second. Um. I'm happy. Um, Spot plugs. And we'll talk that yeah, down. Yeah. We do that once I put the sample on back on. Yeah. Um, don't forget. Bye. 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 Alright guys, so we finished changing the oil and changing the spark plugs out and look at the state of all threes. That's from cylinder four and that's from cylinder one. Apparently Dan's saying that's normal, so I'm gonna trust as well. Yeah. And yeah, but inside the canals they were alright. You're gonna get a bit of oil on them. Yeah, that's what he says. That's it. But in order for you guys to get to the spark plug, you need to remove this 10mm bolt here. Well, nut here first, then this little cable thing comes off. Then you have to remove the 10mm bolt that actually comes out. Then you have to remove this slowly up and then you hear a little pop. And then you know that the uh, glow plug is out. Um, and then to remove this, you remove that uh, red clip out like that and push it in further till you hear another pop. And then you know that's out as well. But make sure you do them all at the same time and don't break anything because these apparently are very fragile. And to get it more loosely off or to make it your life easier, Take this off, it's basically your cat sensor, and there's another one down here. So that, literally do that, and then unclip it, and then, you know, you should be good. Uh, we talked everything to the specs and tightened it. Now we're gonna give it a start. And yeah. so, we talked to the, yeah, okay, whatever, bro. Yeah, we, whatever. we, whatever we, you we say, talked, bro. yeah. Whatever you say, yeah. it's, it's done, it's tightened up, you yeah, know. Yeah, it's, it's an Audi at the end there, it's fine. Yeah. Raw. Take that back. Well, oh, sorry, it's not an Audi, it's a, it's a VW. Yeah, I know. It's a Vag. Vag? Vag? Is yeah, Vag. Vag. <laughs> right, so we're going to start it and then get it off the ramps and top up the coolant as well and change the cabin filter inside. Um, with the air intake, we're going to give it a quickly uh, blast of air. So all of that crap. So you're going to give it a blow, mate? Yes, I am. <laughs> Right guys, so Dan found something very amusing about my car. It has so what no is dipstick. it? Yeah, no, it doesn't. It has electronically. Now you have to wait. Yeah. Two, three minutes for it to cool down and then read the temperature. So that's why when I told you to close the lid, so every time you close the lid, there's a little sensor to tell it, okay, you've topped up oil, and then it was said, okay, reset. You know, then you start reading again. And this here. Is it meant to be a dipstick? Yeah, right? you can put an aftermarket one in in case your digital one fails. So yeah, that's that's basically my dipstick. <laughs> <laughs> Some short ass dipstick. Yeah, but surely it's in their best interest to put a bloody dipstick in it, just in case it does fail. Yeah, that's so the. So it makes you spend more money for a dipstick. That's the point of Audi, isn't it? You buy more stuff. Oh, that's silly. <laughs> now I've got to wait for this stupid system to say, oh yeah, there's not enough oil in there. That's top right. Top it up. You top it up, then you've got to start it again. Or do whatever it's got Close, to start, then wait again. Sorry, turn it off, then leave on the ignition, and then it will tell you what level it is. But it's easy enough just to top it up, pour a bloody dipstick, and yeah. give it a wipe, put it in, dip it out, and done. Yeah. That's what I'll do for you, bro. <sighs> That's what I'll do for you. That's it. So we're now done with that, and it's got Ranting the right. On a dipstick. I know, right? <laughs> oh, Nothing geez. can please you, can it? <laughs> <laughs> no, it can't. No, things like this. I'm just the old school, just a dipstick and just, you know. You know, just for your benefit, I'm going to buy one and just put it in. So next time we do it, you know, it's easy for you. Right, so we're going to top up the coolant now with some more antifreeze. And he's going to do that. A summer coolant? Yes, yes. Does it smell summery? I don't know. Try it, smell it. I dare you.
What the hell? Keep going, keep going. Oh, it's not like a oh, half turn and it comes nope. up, man. Oh, it's not like the Ford then. Of course it's not the Ford, it's an Audi. Well, at least my car has a dipstick. Okay, wow, it has a dipstick, wow. <laughs> I can buy a dipstick, bro. <laughs> nah. Mine comes with the car. I know, this this should have come with a dipstick. I don't know why it didn't, but eh, we move. <laughs> Since cars have been built, they came with dipsticks. Yes, I know. Now everybody comes along and think, ah, nah. I think there's some modern cars as well. They don't have a dipstick. Well, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. Coolio. We're on the max. That's it. All right, we need to top up some screen. What do, what's that called? Windscreen wash. wash. Yeah. Screen wash? Uh, screen because wash. my. Windscreen wash. <laughs> it's called screen wash. But windscreen... Same shit, nah. It's for the windscreen, right? So is it not called windscreen wash then? Right, okay. Or what is it called? Screen wash. All right, whatever. Screen wash, yeah. Uh, basically, my car is leaking from this little uh, headlight washer thing. And if we top it up every time. Like if I go down the road, it just just leaks. So I'm gonna need to replace that, which I'll record in the next one. Do it for me. Yeah, you can. No. I think. Oh, then we do it outside when I do the cabin filter. Yeah, because uh, the wall's in the way. Yeah. Right. Let's move the car out fully and then catch you guys in a bit. Right. So if you come close, yeah, in here it will say oil level. Yeah, it needs to be switched off for two minutes. Um, we just done that. Yeah, we just did. So if I leave it off ignition right now. It's gonna say, please switch on. So you turn the ignition on once, and then says again, keep, um, you know, wait two more minutes. All the fluff. Oh my day. Yeah, man. So wait, you see it. Look. So wait, go start the car. Yep. Comes on, tells you to switch it off. Yep. Then leave it for two minutes. Yep. Cool. We're still waiting. Oh, there you go. Engine must be warned to obtain exam exact oil management. Well, we go for a little spin and see how that goes. Oil now is on max. Yes, so that's good. Max, that's good. And the uh, screen wash is happy until it's all leaked out again. That's all it. Down the road, it will be some free cool, some free uh, screen wash. Sorry. Screen wash oil and um, yeah, that's it. That's it. Cool. So right. Thank you for watching today's episode. Uh, and if you guys haven't subscribed, please subscribe because this, we can see who watches our videos and who doesn't. And the ratio is a bit, you know, it's a bit mental. I think it was something like 98% not subscribed. Wow, and guys, subscribe. Subscribed. Yeah, something like that. So thank you again very much for getting us to 152. I can't, I don't think we've 154. Far. Sorry, 154 now, as of now. Yeah, uh, stay tuned for the next video. We have some new news. You've seen a bit of it already, but yeah. Got some more updates for you guys. Somewhere <laughs> where? Just, just there. Um, the reason why we're doing this is we're Somewhere getting around kicked here. out. We're getting kicked out. That's, that's what was happening. Um, so we have to Sorry. keep tidying up. Finger in your face. I know. <laughs> um, so yeah, we got told to, you know, basically move out. And um, so Big Bertha's now gone, the moped's gone. All our products have been binned. Um, it, it was sad that's why we didn't upload last week or this week well last week um so yeah <laughs> stay tuned for the next episode um we'll explain what happened and hopefully dan you know cheers up a bit see you guys on the next one and make sure you guys subscribe see you guys bye